Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. We are jumping in once again, rebuilding the streak, going back up again, and as soon as I say rebuilding the streak, the game slaps me with a tainted Andromeda run. Let's go. Have we beaten a tainted Andromeda run yet? I don't think we have. Oh no, we beat Boss Rush. We beat Boss Rush. That's something. Oh, automatically walked into the boss room. You know me, I just forget. But this character... As everyone knows, incredibly fun, but incredibly difficult. He tends to start off really, really weak and then gets exponentially more powerful in the late game, but he is pretty tough. And I do also want to address the fact that in the last episode, I got really annoyed and thought there was a bug that didn't let me get a secret room item. Turns out I did get a secret room item. I got the spin down dice and just completely forgot. So my bad, apologies to the developer, I'm just dumb. Uh, anyways. We are going to hope for the best here. We are going to grab this nickel as well. Because with this character, every time you pick up a consumable, a pickup off the floor, like a penny, a bomb, it does one charge to your active item. Your active item is the way that you get items. Um, you can use it to summon an item of the, seat of the current item pool that you're in. So let's just see how we do. But as you can see, he's got a, he's got a funky mechanism of shooting. Makes him um, pretty difficult, but a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. I think this character is one of the more interesting challenge characters that isn't outright just ridiculously hard, like Sodom and Gomorrah and stuff like that. Those characters are just ridiculously hard. Uh, this character, it's got a lot of difficulty to it, <clears throat> but it's a lot of fun. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked to death there. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if you heard it in my voice, but I just kind of choked on my own words. So, yeah, that happened. Anyways, we get a little buddy. Look at the little fella. Look at the little fella. And, yeah, we, we're going to we're gonna hope that we can get a few charges here. We always get a full charge from our boss, so that's nice. So, we can find our secret room here. Dude, this guy's too fast. He's too fast. Yeah, and also he starts with relatively low HP. Like, three black hearts on a lot of characters. It's pretty good going. Three black hearts on this guy is absolutely nothing. Uh, also, we won't end up getting a cube of meat from this guy. But for today's question of the day, for the day's question of the day, what is, this is kind of as opposed to the last episode, what is the best meal you've ever had? What's the best meal you've ever had? I think I might have asked this before, maybe. I can't remember. But anyways, I'm going to ask it again. I think I've just asked favorite food before. Yeah, what's the best meal you've ever had? What's the best experience? For me, I've got quite a few. One of them is definitely when I went, I think I've mentioned this before, I went on holiday uh, in the UK with my girlfriend and her parents, and we stopped off at a, a little pub, and I got a chicken pie, and it was one of the best chicken pies I've ever eaten in my life, and I've been searching for something similar for so long, and still never found anything. It's it's very upsetting, because I, I truly did love that chicken pie. And then, also, there's a place near me that does, like, authentic Italian pizza, and it's literally ranked one of the top 10 pizza places in the uh, in the world. It's the, the, the nine other options. Oh, yes. The nine other options. Can we buy a soul heart from in here, maybe? No, but I can buy this, which could give us some charges. Um, yeah, the the nine other options are all in Italy. And the, the tenth is in the UK, and it's near where I live. And it is ridiculously incredible. It's so, so very good. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely hyped to go there again. So that's de that's definitely up there. Like, I mean, pizza's always good, but really good pizza is really, really good. Now, I'm a little concerned because we have a bit of a dilemma here. We have rock bottom, but we don't have any guaranteed ways to get stat ups yet, and I'm actually on pretty low health. So I could end up Causing myself some issues by dying early and upsetting everyone. I really hope that I don't, but honestly, when it comes to rooms like this, I might die. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, there's an Eternal Boy as well. I think I've got the range to deal with him, actually. Yeah, I do. Um, We've just got to kind of hope for the best and hope that we uh, get enough items. In fact, let's just pop an item here. That's incredible. No fire rate down. We just got quad shot without any fire rate down. That's absolutely exactly the sort of item that we wanted to see. That has made us literally four times stronger. That is super duper duper, super duper duper top tier. 
my god, we couldn't have asked for something better. The only thing I could have asked for better maybe is Kidney Stone. But that is that is top tier. I'm very, very happy that Rock Bottom has already... I'm not going to say won us this run because I've still got low HP, but already put us in a very, very good position. I'm going to go back to my shop once again here because I want to buy a Soul Heart. Um, health is going to be my major concern here. So I'm going to keep going with this. And this is just going to be a very fun run, I think. If we can keep this alive, which... I can make no promises. Oh, we are getting a lot of pickups, which I like. Uh, but da, 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 da. Damn it, I missed it. Okay, it's just spiders. It's just spiders. Get out of there. Come on, come on, come on. Soul Heart, please. Yes. Add a sack again, which should give us more charges. And honestly, because of that, let's pop another one of these in here. Sadly... Not the sort of item I was looking for, I'll be honest. We did get Butt Penny there. I'll pop a scratch card. Gave us a nickel back. Not nickel back. Oh no. I didn't mean it. Uh, also, we might as well take this too, actually. Have I grown up? Fair enough. I will take it. Okay. Reasonably happy with everything that's happened so far. Mysterious Egg, not the best. But yeah, these guys can't hurt me anymore because I've got Have I Grown Up. I can just walk right over them. I'm going to be doing every room I can just for more drops. I want room rewards. I want my room clear rewards. Sadly, that one was just a heart, but there you go. But yeah, we have a little egg buddy now, I guess. I'm not going to judge him. He's cute. Um, and then we might be able to get a devil deal here as well, because within the devil deals, we don't trade away HP anymore. We just spawn the item with singularity, so... Pretty good. Don't go into our item rooms anymore. That's silly. Um, where's this penny in this room? Oh, it's just there. Okay. With a butt penny, I will take. So, this is kind of what I was dreading. A situation like this. I don't really understand what's happening with him right now. He seems to be perpetually stuck behind that rock. I think, I think he's made it out. I'm trying to kill the babies before I kill him, but that's... It's not easy being cheesy. Um, I got hit once. That's fine. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Makes that whole situation significantly easier on us. Uh, we'll grab that for some mini Isaacs as well. And then we can pop in here real quick and pop this tiny Krampus. Gotta love him. Gotta say. Okay. Two more charges. Oh, I was hoping for like two pennies from that. Um, yeah, we can't really get anything more out of that. I'm good to go. I'm good to go. Tiny Krampus, he's going to block shots for us, most importantly, but he's also going to fire some laser beams every now and again. And I do like some la- Ooh. Yes! Pride badge. Hell yes. It is Pride Month. So Pride badge with the rainbow tears. We gotta go. Hell yes. Hell to the yes. I like having him. He's a bro. And it didn't even start the actual challenge of the room either, which is kind of funny. I kind of did want to start it because I was hoping for consumables, but... You know what? I'll accept. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking just having rainbow tears here. That excites me. Okay, there's an extra bomb. There's an extra item. Gemini. Okay. You might be wondering why I'm not using my charges for, like, other stuff, but... Treasure room items are ones that could give us really good statistical stuff that could work with rock bottom. So that's what I'm kind of going for right now. That's my thought process. I want like a, I want like kidney stone. Give me like kidney stone. Give me like soy milk. Something like that. I want something that's going to be just absolutely busted. Oh, there he goes. Little Krampus doing his thing. Pills are pretty much a must take. Oh, ho, ho, we gulped pride. Hell yes. We gulped pride. Now that's what I love to see. Just swallow down. Swallow down the LGBT. I don't care if you don't like it. I'm going to force it down your throat. <laughs> now, that, that came off the wrong way. Yeah, that's not what I meant. Anyways. Damn it. Um, I'm gonna still going to check my shop. I'm still going to check my shop. Uh, it wasn't really worth it. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, do you know what? We got a penny out of it. It was worth it for the penny. I was kind of hoping for a keeper that I could bomb. Do you know what? Let's let's bomb both of these. Try and get a, another pill. Because pills do give us charges. And we can't get much negative things from pills. I think bad trip is pretty much the worst we can get. Because uh, 
any statistical downgrade isn't going to actually affect us with rock bottom. Well, this is nice. That was close. Kane's other eye. God damn it. Damn, can't do anything with 48 energy. Yeah, so unfortunately we're not getting many statistical, like, sort of statistical items here. But do you know what? We got some good stuff. Some uh, some nice accompanying little fellas to join us on our journey. Our prideful journey. So I do not mind it. And we get a Bob's Rotten Head too. Use the Hermit card because the Hermit card does give us a charge, even if it's just a teleport. I'm hoping we get some cards coming up here that give us some statistical increases too. What's what's the best card you can get for statistical increase? I'm not actually 100% sure on that. Right. We got this guy. So this will do a lot of damage to him. Oh, no, it won't. It got stuck to me. Okay, I didn't realize it would spawn from me and not the black hole. Let's, uh, let's remember that in the future, shall we? God, we have a lot of friends. I'm liking this. Do you know what? Let's just pop this in the boss item, and there you go. Super happy I did that. Creatine powder is huge. That's a very good get for us there. Very happy with that. Okay, let's keep on moving on. <laughs> God, we've got an absolute, like, menagerie of, of random followers here. That's quite funny. Um, this is good, potentially. It wasn't amazing, actually, but we did get a few bits and bobs here. In fact, we got an item. Pop it again. One attacking? Eh. Oh, wait. Ooh, what the hell? Okay, that's... <laughs> that's a little funky. It spawns it from the black hole rather than from our person. Wasn't expecting that, I have to admit. Was not expecting that. I don't mind, though. I don't mind. Okay, the... Bob's Rotten Head is actually really hard to use effectively, so I'm going to kind of ignore it exists, because I think I'm going to end up hurting myself with it. More sacks. Really? More sacks that just gives me battery charges. And another shop here. Good, good. Hopefully we'll get a, a planetarium pretty soon. This is great. Steam sale is unfortunately not exactly what I'm looking for here, but this is nice. And this is really good too. We get minus luck, but Golden pennies are very effective for us here. Mother's key here. Because we can't we have a 50% chance of getting a charge whenever we pick up a golden penny here. So we could get an additional item. We didn't, but we did get a few charges. We lost a bit of luck, but I think overall that worked out pretty well. Um and I'm kinda glad that I got Mother's Key, you know. For a shop item, that's a pretty good shop item for us to get. Because it means that all chests we're opening either even more in, which means even more items in the future. I think overall that was a, a really, really good uh, turn out there. That is exactly what I want. God damn. This is so confusing to follow. There's just so much going on right now. Can't get over there. Flight would be really nice. I'm trying to think of where best to get flight. Okay, that's nice. Damn it, I took a bit too many. Oh, I overcharged. That's cool. Lodestone and the D6. Okay, the D6 is incredible for us here. Uh, B-bombs, I'm not going to take. I'll go for another reroll on that if I can. Yeah, D6 here is, is pretty awesome. Ace of Hearts is potentially okay. I'm not going to use it in a room that I can't access any of the hearts on, though. That would be a little silly. Okay. Let's try and get an additional charge before we go for our potential devil slash angel deal here. I Lodestone is a is a huge get though. I like Lodestone a lot. Okay, D6 is almost ready. We've actually got a lot of battery charges available on the map there. A lot more than I was expecting. This is what I mean by this character. He can start off a little hard, but he can he can be become something quite incredible. Let's quickly go up and reroll this again. What do we get? There you go. Look at that. Jacob's Ladder. What a reroll. What a reroll. And now, we're kind of hoping to fill up Singularity just once more before we fight our boss. We could also get a planetarium. We don't want to ignore rooms that could potentially have a planetarium in them. That would be silly. This should be our secret room, right? There you go. 
Do you know what? With the amount of money we have right now and the fact that we have Steam Sale, I think it's worth playing this. Just for the, 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 the extra charges that we can get. There you go. And then in this room, we'll use our Ace of Hearts. Unfortunately, nothing great. But I'll take it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Lodestone plus Jacob's Ladder is incredible too. Because when, when a Lodestone tier and a Jacob's Ladder chain procs at the same time, it latches onto every single enemy available. It's, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so I think we've got a mini battery in here that we can pick up. Oh, no, we don't. It's in the other room. Or is that a full battery in the other room? Either way, no, it's a mini one. Okay, either way, we get up to a full charge. Nice. Yeah, this has become quite crazy. So we could use Singularity here, but I'm more inclined to use it in an Angel Deal situation, uh, if possible, because I think we can just get more out of it that way. I mean, Devil Deal would also work, but because we can overcharge now, we can, like, double charge it up. And then we have a D6 to work with as well. I think having the D6 as well is sort of the, the crux to this. That's an unfortunate item to lose there. We do get a Devil Deal. And we get one and two. And Flight and Spectral Tears is kind of exactly what I was looking for. And a reroll, Star Bethlehem converts all blue flies into um, locusts. And every now and again, ooh, our tears look really cool now. Um, every now and again, when we kill an enemy, we're going to get a locust. So pretty good going. Um, if we can get anywhere to get guaranteed blue flies, then that's going to be real crazy. Look at that. Look, every single one got lodestoned. But yeah, having Flight now... It's going to make our life so much easier. So much easier. But yeah, chests like this are going to be super good. Because they just contain so much more for us. Because of Mum's Key. Probably one of the better shop items you can get, actually. I think Humbling Bundle and uh, Sackhead are like the only other two I can think of that would be just as good. This this floor, we should get a Planetarium. We're on 61% chance. So I'd, I'd, I wouldn't say it's guaranteed, but it's a decent likelihood. Eternal fella here. Look at that. Picked up that uh, Rotten Heart and every single one of them became a Locust. It's a very strong item. There it is, look. So actually, playing that Beggar might be a very good idea. You might be able to get a good amount out of that dude. That's a decent trinket to grab. Uh, check our shop out here. This is a good shop for us. Unfortunately, not really. Um, I'm going to re-roll that. I mean, I'll pick that up for the five bombs. I think we can get better out of this. Singularity's ready. Yeah, I think we can get better out of that. I realized 25 cent would go towards playing this beggar here. Uranus, that's incredible. I'm going to play this guy a little bit. He can give us some runes and stuff. Uh, blank rune is just whatever. Let's just pop it. Gives a soul heart, nice. Another blank rune. I love the uh, the cracked planetariums, they look so good. Algis is kind of nice to hold on to. God damn, the wind is uh, knocking my door about right now. Bacano, that's going to be a bunch more locusts. I don't know why Bacano likes so much. Come on, give us an item. Anzus is full mapping, let's just pop it. Algae's just kind of a hold on to for like the hush or something. This guy is taking the piss. Bacano again. Okay, he didn't unfortunately pay out with an item, but he kind of did. Because we get a guaranteed crawl space. So he kind of paid out with an item in the end. Uh, I think I want to take my Yarrow Rune here and, like, get some extra Soul Hearts or something if possible. Ooh, this is good. Toy Box. I gotta do it. Let me just get out of here. Toy Box is incredible. It can ruin a run, but I will never not take it. What did we get there? Let's have a little look-see, shall we? Encyclopedia, Inventory. We got ourselves. The white poop has a chance to replace normal poop. Bloodied clover um, gives a bonus look based on how many empty red hearts containers you have. That doesn't matter. Um, we got this. 
When uh, a deal room doesn't appear after defeating a false boss, the boss item turns into an angel or devil room. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And then we got the, the leech as well, which is actually kind of good considering it's locked in. Uh, we're going to pop this. That's not something I want. I'm sorry to say, but I'm not re-rolling my run. I will take the d6, and I will be very much on my way. So I, I do want to speed up a little bit, because I want to make sure I make hush. I kind of would like to get angel deals as well, so I can do mega Satan, but I don't know how likely that's going to be now that we've, now that we've been in a few devil deals. Because it, it is still plausible to get them, but it's not guaranteed, unfortunately. Come on, fella. Pop your head up. There you go. Yeah, I'm liking the freezing. The freezing's very nice. The rainbow is just for added effect. Golden bombs as well here. I didn't think about that. Try that again. Oop, lost soul. I will take you now. I know it's a little risky to do so, but... I'm just going to do it. I understand that you will probably die, but I can't be asked backtracking for you. Ooh, battery. That's actually really good. Because now we can go and re-roll the D100. <laughs> God damn it. We've got two items that I need to re-roll that just aren't giving us what we need. Ooh, many. Okay. One more go of this. You've got one more go of it, game. Give us something good. That's nice. I like it. Oh, yes. I will do these extra rooms over here. We've got the time. We're on depth uh, one. I would kind of like to do boss rush as well, to be honest. I know we've already done it. We've already got the achievement for it, but I would still like to go for it. Yeah, there you go. Lost soul died. I wasn't expecting him to live, to be honest. And to be honest, I should have just backtracked for him. I realized it was just lazy for me to pick him up, but he... Like, in the grand scheme of things, he ain't going to matter all that much. Don't want that. Thank you. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah, te the, a tech I uh, the tech zero item on its own is incredible as this character, but with all the other stuff we've currently got going on, the only thing that we could add to this to make it, like, really, like, a lot better is piercing. Okay, there you go. That's all I really wanted. D6 charged up. It would be nice to charge up my singularity just one more time, actually. Get one more pip on that, but I don't know where we're going to get that right now. It's not a it's not a, a life or death sort of thing. It would be nice, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Ow! What, how did you hit me there? We got an eternal boy look, as I, as I think friendly. Okay. Didn't get an Angel or Devil deal, so let's just pop this bad boy. Oh my god, it's all the electricity items. We got them all. Right, down we go. We ha One thing that we are sort of missing out on, our health isn't great. We also got to bring these runes along with us, which is mighty kind of the game. Look at that. This dude just brimstoning along. Singularity again. We don't know what we're getting here, so it's a little risky, but I'm not going to say no. There's not much that could ruin this run. Only really, like, Dr. Fetus could, like, truly ruin this. So I ain't afraid. The hell do we get there? I don't even know what trinket that is. I think EID is broken. Maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll reboot the game if it has. Ooh, you are you are a big boy. Doesn't matter to us though, because you're dead. Once again. Oh no, a look down. What am I ever gonna do with a look down? I like the way that even without rock bottom, this run is still incredibly good. Okay, nice. 
We're just looking for statistical increases now. That's all I want. Just stats. Just give me all your stats. We've got about a minute to make boss rush if we want to go boss rush. Which I, I definitely do. I'm going to quickly take a detour up. If the, if the item room isn't up, then... Well, actually, we don't need item room. That's what I was looking for. Shop. That's what I meant. I knew I, I knew there was something I wanted to find. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. Now, hope we can kill the boss in time. I think we can. Even with the boss armor that she's amassed. Yeah, we're definitely going to kill her in time. There we go. We can take Polaroid here. We go for the Angel deal real quick. Uh, I'm going to pop this twice. Charity and Glyph Balance. We've got a few seconds left here. That was a bit of a mistake on my part there. I didn't think about the angel being blown up. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay. Big fan. D8. At least I can re-roll it. Cube of rock. Whatever. Hello, sir. Oh my god. We don't even have that much damage is the thing as well. The heretic's in here today. My little ghost was here. I didn't even realize he was still alive. Oh god, the heretic. God, I got so much health. When did I get so much health? Does this guy, this guy doesn't have a health bar anymore. Excuse me. Why don't you have a health bar anymore? Cheeky boy. Everyone else has a health bar. You goober. Okay. Things are going well. We got another soul heart there, which apparently I got hit to grab. Nothing else to reroll, sadly, so the D6 isn't going to do much for us. But we do have golden bombs right now, which means that if it's a particularly hard boss or anything, we do have methods, ways around it. Not that I think we're going to have too much trouble here. Oh my god. Just give us piercing. It's all we need to make this just insane. It's already pretty insane. We'll tip it over the edge. Pride is doing his thing. I kind of love the fact that the, uh, the the lodestone is magnetizing Pride towards the enemies. And then his contact damage is just annihilating them. I really like this, uh, this arena with this massive hole in the middle that I can just use for protection. I'm also not getting hit that much, which is very nice. I like the fact that we've got this, like, whirling circle of electricity that's spewing out even more electricity. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a beefy cross map brimstone there, sir. Do you want a bomb in your mouth, maybe? Oh, it's also, like, bringing the bombs in, too. Nice. It even got you, apparently. I should really just, like, clap down bombs anywhere that I am. Because they're just going to get sucked towards the enemies anyways. So, it's kind of like we've got herming bombs. Herming bombs for free. With golden bombs, it's like, really should take advantage. Yeah, look at that. Literal herming bombs. It's kind of hard to miss with them. Ooh, Kloster Mia, hello. Kloster Mia, oh my. Don't think so, fella. God, Tainted Andromeda runs. <laughs> they can be a lot of fun. I'm inevitably going to hit myself with a bomb here, aren't I? At least we got one of our key pieces. I wasn't expecting that this run, but it's nice to see we got it. But yeah, I just wanted to do Boss Rush because we got that, that uh, mod that adds a bunch of stuff to Boss Rush. It makes it more fun. 
They actually do need to hit Lodestone on an enemy before this tactic really works, before it shines. Oh, hello. I didn't expect you around these parts. I hate this boss with a dying passion. The good job is, I basically don't have to aim. Ooh, we got a hit. We drop pennies when we get hit, though. I'm not sure what that's from. Do we have P then? Or maybe it's because we have charity. Eternal version of this guy. No, oh yeah, we dropped pennies again there. I was going to say we didn't that time, but we did. That should be a new item for us, right? Got a little bit of invincibility to help us out here. Yeah, there you go. New item. Scapula. I'm so excited. This guy being eternal and having boss armor is proving to be quite difficult. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh my god, he's actually kind of tough. We're having a hard time hitting him. I'm hoping the bombs do a good job. And they certainly did. Look how much bomb damage that does. It's insane. And there's a soul heart there for us too. Nice. I got hit getting it, but we get charges out of that, so... Yeah, having piggy bank or charity or whatever to, to drop you stuff when you get hit, pretty good. Extra items. And you're here as well, sir. Okay, you, you definitely have to go. I was really hoping we could just get a bomb in there, but I think he's dead, yeah. Yeah, this guy's pulling the feetsies on me. He's a bit of a foot fetish sort of guy. There you go. And we got another charge. Donkey's Jawbone. It is what it is. I'm not super excited about it, but we have it now. Down to the womb. Now, from this floor onwards, we can only spawn items in special rooms. So we need to find like a sack room or an arcade or a curse room. Something. Otherwise, we can't... We can't uh, just use it anywhere. We've got to find specific rooms. So, for, like, for now, we have to go into this room, pop it. Ah, okay, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this room doesn't count. Maybe it has to be, like, a sack room or, or like, a boss room. I mean, it, it still gave us a trinket, but it did not give us an item. Yeah, uh, we still got it. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll see what rooms we come across, and I'll try and I'll try and get some additional items. But honestly, if we get no items for the rest of this run, I'm sure we'll be in a, a good enough spot to get the win here. Wiggle worm here. Just got to. It's wacky. It's weird. It's wonderful. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, do you have to be this way? You could have died ages ago. No one would have minded. Oh, look at all that lutitious booty. Yeah, I, lo I love the wiggle worm. Tech X is just so insane. Yeah, EID is broken, so I'm just going to quickly do this. Which will just return us to the same room, and it should fix EID descriptions. Just helps you guys, it helps me. It's all around good. Dude. Just stop being yourself. Thank you. Puberty. You can get a free soul heart with one more puberty pill. Look at this goober. Nobody likes the way you do your business. Magician, that's going to give us a range bonus forever, so don't mind it. Surprised we haven't found more cards. We really got a, a, a very, very instant two-item combo with quad shot and rock bottom, and that's all we ever needed. We didn't really get anything additional on top of that, did we? Okay. Unfortunately, boss room has been particularly difficult to find this time around. But I think we're just about there. Eternal Heart, why not? Oh god. I don't know how I'm not getting hit during this, to be honest.
And this guy again. Oh, your little feet fetish boy. You don't want to deal. Don't want to deal. There you go. Angel deal. Awesome. Because that gives us not only two angel items, of which both of them are getting re-rolled. The Halo and Immaculate. But we also get to bomb this guy. The Halo did nothing for us apart from give us speed. That's unfortunate. And where we go. I don't know what I was hoping for, really. Godhead. Sacred Heart. <laughs> the usual. Oh, I forgot about you. Thank you. I truly forgot about you. Oh god, he's got the segments popping off. So, Arcade might be one of the rooms we can use. I don't actually know. Ooh, Tinted Rock here. But we'll find out later. We don't need to do it now. I'm still holding on to Yera as well. I think the chests on the chest still work as normal as this guy, so they're pretty useful. This is the wrong way. God damn it. Why do I keep going the wrong way? I'm just going to skip out on this room. This room seems lengthy. And not too delicious for me. Wrong way again. It's, it's the curse of being on the womb. It just is. So hard not to go the wrong way. God damn, things are literally insta-dying. It's incredible. Because the electricity is just freezing everything. I think it's sucked into a pit, into a void, to a bottomless hole. Okay, there's a card in here. Is it going to be a card that gives us stats? For one, let's bomb that. Turns off pickups into room into blue flies. That's actually great because that gives us a bunch of locusts. Um, inter. Uh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, n none of that matters. Ace of Pentacles. It did, it literally did nothing. It didn't work on the enemies that I used it on at all. Whatever, whatever. Let's, let's, let's just pretend that didn't happen. For some reason, I thought there was more enemies in that room as well, and there wasn't. But I kind of used it in a really useless way anyways. I've done so many keys to up for grabs. I don't need keys anymore. Forty hour energy does it's forty hour energy is kinda good. If we could hold it with the Yera, I'd definitely take it. We can't. But well, I think we got a golden sack there. And it popped once. God damn it. Scratch card. I don't think Small with Penny's really gonna be super good for us right now. I mean wiggle worm is a lot of fun. Right. Give us an angel deal. You know you want to. Give it, give it to me. This is a rainbow party. There you go. Bombs still doing work. There's that angel deal. Beautiful. I mean, I have literally no idea how this will work. And I, I can't take Spirit Sword. It just wasn't... Okay, so... It seems like this has broken everything. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... We're gonna figure it out. It seems as though that's broken everything, though. It really does. On a red chest. Why did I not do it in there? Stupid. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this might have broken literally everything. I, I really don't know how this is going to work. Okay, we got Rock Boy. 
Because I, I am firing tears. But they don't seem to be going anywhere. I mean, he's taking a lot of damage. But are we doing any of the damage? Is the question. I really can't tell. Like... Look at the tears. They're all they're all going to the shadows are all going towards him. But until until we get to the point where he spawns enemies, can we see if we can see if we're, if we're freezing them or not? I really don't know. I mean, the electricity is arcing from him, so that makes me that makes me think it is working. Oh, there's some tears. This is very confusing. I've caused what I will call a situation here. Ah, it pushed the bomb towards me. I think this is an item that was never intended to be uh, to be used in such a way. <clears throat> it's very, very strange. I'll say that. It's very, very strange. I'm just gonna stay here and hope that. So do these guys so these guys all get frozen and, and lodestoned and stuff. So that makes me think that it is working as intended. It's just my tears that are close by are invisible. And sometimes they descend from the heaven to, to give me a visit. Also, this dude seems to be turning the enemy tears into friendly poison tears every now and again, which is kind of nice. This cube of rot here. Kind of nice. I like it. Okay. You're going down, big fella. Lodestone plus bombs is kind of the best way forward right now, I think. Ah! Come on, Lodestone him. I know he's more immune to it than normal, but come on. There you go. There you go. And this is pretty much him done. Nice. Did we even get hit that fight? I don't think we did, did we? That worked out for us. Unlocked Soul of Andromeda. Hell yes. And up we go. Weird run. Very weird run. We have created some truly cursed things. But it seems to... Everything seems to be working as expected. I'm not going to use this moon card because I'd just rather make sure I hold my error. Yeah, everything seems to be working as expected, so... I can only imagine it's just some visual bug with tier height being a bit glitched. Because everything else is hunky dory. And they are coming down from time to time. That's the, that's probably the more confusing part of it though. The fact that it is working, but only sometimes. My little buddy's dying every time, but honestly, I'm sorry. I don't care too much for him at this, at this moment in time. I think it's funny that you can freeze these guys and they keep spawning still. You can just freeze every single copy that's available. God damn, still not a single stat increase card. We are getting unlucky with cards, I tell you. Very unlucky indeed. <laughs> I just it's funny how quickly we're just blasting through these rooms. See an enemy, freeze an enemy, next room. See an enemy, freeze an enemy. I'm not saying see an enemy, like as in like the creature, see an enemy. Is that is that what they're called? That's that that sounds about right. I think my pronunci pronunciation is way off the <clears throat> My god. The laser in the middle of the room is insane. <laughs> Oh, that bomb was... That was good. That was good. I'll give you that. Lodestone ran out at the worst possible time there. Oh, I'm trying to kill Pride. What am I doing? I like shooting and I'm like, oh wait, that's not, that's not Isaac. Okay, he's almost dead. Look at that. It's like a school of fish.
Like a very bizarre school of fish. The alien transmitter has been unlocked too. Let's see if we can uh, beat out Mega Satan as well. And maybe even do Void after that if possible. I think this is definitely the run for it. Um, we want to quickly use Yera here. Get two items that are completely useless, three items that are completely useless, four items that are completely useless. Technology? I don't even know how that would work in this situation. Um, I'm going to just reroll all of them. So this seems great. This is good. This is nice. We got spurred. This is good. This is good. These two are okay. Falgo is good. Okay. Not quite sure how that works. I have zero clue as to how tractor beam's working right now. Absolutely zero clue. But it it seems good. I didn't know what technology would do, so I was scared to grab it. It could just ruin everything. You never know. When it comes to modding, but I, I'll tell you something. This run is holding up FPS-wise remarkably well. For all the crap that's going on right now, playing a modded character, it's 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 going good. Eh. We got a good amount of bomb synergies going on here. Still no good card. The lovers. Hatched heart there. More bombs. Now, actually, fast bombs is kind of interesting. I wish I'd have taken void bombs now. Strength! It might do something. It did. Wait, wait. Where'd the other card go? No, I didn't have another card, did I? Okay, maybe not. But strength actually did something for us. Wow. But yeah, I've got a bit of an idea for how to kill Mega Satan pretty fucking quickly. I'll see how it goes. Let's just double pop Singularity, because why not? I guess I might get an item out of it, and we technically did. Not directly, but we did get an item. Where's uh, where's Blue Baby? Where's where's our old fat old pal? <laughs> That's a lot of bombs. Not like we have to deal with them though. Do your laser beams all? Uh, I just realised that Spurred is really good with this situation because all the stars are just getting sucked in by Lodestone. Okay. You are also very dead. Okay, Blue Baby. It's your time to shine. Okay. Another card. What could it be? What could it be? Two of hearts. Okay, that isn't great. That's not going to help us. This guy is unequivocally absolutely burned. I did get hit there. Whoa, that's so cool. Nice. Book of Cosmos is unlocked. Right. Back we go to Mega Satan. I can't believe, like, how direct of a path we took to the boss there. We took... Like, two wrong turns, pretty much, and that was it. Okay, Mega Satan. Let's go. So, if you haven't already guessed what my plan is, which I'm guessing a few of you just did, it's this. Just get Lodestone, and then plant a fuckload of bombs. <laughs> Ow. One moment. Wind is blowing very strongly. I apologize. Knocking stuff over and stuff. 
But yeah, we might get hit a little bit here just in the randomness of everything moving around the screen. Okay, he didn't get loads turned there. Probably should have waited on that. What the hell is this thing? Um, Invincible enemies take 20. Ooh, that's really cool. Hello, my good sir. Yeah, he, he, angels. Sorry, but you don't even need to try. God, I keep picking up trinkets by accident and not being able to shoot. It's very annoying. Okay, you're going down as well. You've regender hand, but I think you are into the next phase now. Yes, you are. Okay, next phase, we literally light up 24 bombs. Stop picking up trinkets. Okay, so make sure we get Lodestone on him first. Once we see Lodestone on him, which I don't yet, I don't think. No, I'd, I'd know because the tears would be going wild. Is it just not going to proc? Lodestone. Hello. Just one time, a little sweet Lodestone. Maybe we don't need the tactic at all because Lodestone just won't proc. That's just upsetting. I, I really thought this tactic was going to be great and he's just decided that he didn't want to participate. I mean, it, it works. In the end, it works. Right. Do we get the opportunity to do Delirium as well? That is the big question. We do not. Unfortunate, but that's another unlock. I hope you guys enjoyed that fantastic run. I'll see you guys in the next one.